the firefighters come from home into the fire station and they will soon be ready to go out to any emergency. Can you see Amanda? She's carrying her uniform ready to get changed into at the fire station. Here the firefighters gather together as Richard, Simon, Amanda, Gavin and Tony. Simon is in charge today and he will tell the other firefighters to stand to attention. They will put their legs together, their arms by their sides and stand very tall. The firefighters will not talk and they have to listen to Simon. He will then tell them to stand at ease. They move their legs apart and hold on to their hands behind their back. Can you hear Simon telling the firefighters what they will be doing today? The first truck to um, sort out all the routines on that, it make sure the kit's all uh, up together. We, and uh, two o'clock today is The firefighters keep their firefighting uniform on pegs, just like you keep your coats on your pegs at school. They put the uniform by the fire engine so that they can get dressed really quickly if they have an emergency. A firefighter has to wear a special uniform to keep them safe. Let's watch Amanda put on her uniform. Amanda puts on her boots. They help to keep her feet safe. Can you see that Amanda already has her trousers over her boots? And this means she can put up her trousers really quickly. Amanda now puts on her coat and zips it up. Amanda's going to put on her helmet now just like you put on a helmet when you're riding a bike or using a scooter. We wear a helmet to keep our heads nice and safe. Grown-ups will make sure your helmets are done up really tightly, just like Amanda is doing now with her helmet. This makes sure that they don't fall off. Amanda puts on her gloves, and the only part of Amanda that is not covered by her uniform is now her face. Smoke is not good for our bodies, so firefighters need to wear something to be able to breathe when they are fighting a fire. Amanda has a special mask so that she can breathe fresh air from a tank which she carries on her back. Amanda puts on her mask and makes sure that it is really tight so no smoke will be able to get in. Can you hear that sound? That's Amanda breathing from her air tank, just like astronauts and divers do. Amanda, can you give everyone a wave? The firefighters have to check the fire engine to make sure everything is ready in case they have an emergency. Can you see what Richard is checking at the moment? He is making sure that everything is in the right place. In this fire station the firefighters go upstairs to have their lunch. If there is a call they will have to go down the pole to get to the fire engine quickly. And the firefighters are showing you how they come down the pole. Firefighters have to stay very healthy and they do lots of exercise to make sure that they stay fit. The firefighters are going to show you how they get water onto a fire. They pull up the sides of the fire engine and these are called lockers. The firefighters take the hose from the fire engine and roll it out so that they can get water through it. Look at Richard putting the end of the hose into the back of the fire engine. The firefighters then run the hose out towards the fire. Can you see what happens when the firefighters ask for the water to be turned on? Richard turns a handle which is like a tap and the water travels along the hose to the firefighters. Are you ready? Here comes the water! Our fire engines use lots of water and we have a big tap which comes out of the ground so that our fire engines can be filled up with water. This is called a hydrant. Firefighters have to practice doing their job like you practice your work at school. The firefighters all help each other put the ladder up. And look how high the ladder goes. This fire service lady is taking a 999 emergency call. She asks the grown-up or young person what the problem is and takes the address. 
but this number is only to be used for real emergencies. In this fire station, the firefighters go upstairs to have their morning break. Have a look at some of the things on the table which helps to keep the firefighters fit and healthy. There's milk, water, carrots, apples and bananas. You may have some of these things at school or at home to eat and drink to keep you fit and healthy. Just like our firefighters. Fire rescue, what's the address of the emergency? Listen carefully, there's an emergency! 